So it is my greatest pleasure to welcome you all here today to witness and celebrate the marriage of Braden and Kate. My name is Diane Shepherd and I'm a civil marriage celebrant. As a celebrant, I am duly authorised by law to solemnise marriages according to law. All of you are the most important people in their lives. And what better way for them to start married life together than being surrounded by the people dearest to them. In their hearts, Braden and Kate are already committed to one another. Today's ceremony gives formal recognition to that commitment. You know, and every time I see Kate with Braden and just some of the things that they post on Facebook, I'm just so proud of him, you know, the way he has turned out. And I just couldn't be any more prouder. And I'd just like to say I couldn't have hoped for a better person for Braden to fall in love with and marry. It's the tears when it feels like it's all crashing down. It's the farting. It's the bed head and the bed breath. <laughs> It's the random dances, it's the anger, and it's the joy. Marriage isn't a beautiful thing, but it is so amazing. I'm so proud of her and everything she's achieved. She's such a wonderful mother, a comedian, or so she thinks. <laughs> and has such a beautiful mom. <laughs> So it's by Dr. Seuss. We're all a little weird and life's a little weird and when we find someone whose weirdness is compatible with ours, we join up with them and fall in mutual weirdness and call it love. And that's what you and Brad have found. <laughs> love! <laughs> yeah, duh. <laughs> and I wish you all the content and happiness in the world. I love you both so much. Thankfully, in his older age, uh, and a lot of help from Kate, most definitely, he settled down and become a much more respectable man that I am proud to call a friend of mine. I'd like to thank you all for coming to witness my best friend's best day of his life and the wonderful Kate's best day of her life too. You will have a lot of years to come, mate, where you will be very protective of your daughter, as I am with mine. And I know Katie has found the perfect love for her, as you have found for yourself. You are the love of my life and my best friend. Since the day we met watching a game of footy, 
you thinking you supported Collingwood, <laughs> only to find out you met Geelong. Which isn't much better, but it'll do. I knew that I couldn't pitch my life without you. I never would have imagined that out of all the people in this world, I would find someone as special as you. I still can't believe I am the lucky man who gets to stand here and marry you today. I promise to never forget how lucky I truly am, no matter how many years of our lives go by. You have made me the happiest man in the world today by agreeing to share the rest of your life with me. I promise to love you unconditionally, even on the days that we don't see eye to eye. We'll laugh together, cry together, We'll grow old together and age together. I promise to love you for who you are today and who are you, who you are yet to become. I promise to let you continue your Lego as long as you let our <laughs> children be involved. I'll be there through every up and every low that life throws your way. I love how goofy you are and how easy you can make me smile. The best decision I made was watching that football game back in 2020. Brayden, Let's encounter the best journey of our lives together. I love you. If you have a drink, please raise it for the wonderful bride and groom. <laughs>